What's going on guys, Big Ken Talks here, and we got another film from A24. Everything Everywhere All At Once is the next upcoming movie written and directed by Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheiner, who apparently are collectively known as the Daniels. I guess that makes sense. And stars Michelle Yeoh, Stephanie Hsu, ki Kwan, James Hong, and Jamie Lee Curtis in what I can only describe as a science fiction action comedy multiverse film. Yes, you heard me right. I said multiverse film. And if you're like me and thought Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness was going to be your first look into the multiverse this year, it looks like we were both mistaken as A24 actually beat Marvel to the punch. Everything Everywhere All At Once follows Michelle Yeoh as Evelyn, a jaded yet fatigued Chinese American woman who is married to a humble but optimistic Wayman Wang, played by Ki Hu Kwan. She's also mother to an underachieving Joy Wang, played by Stephanie Shu, who she is seemingly unable or unwilling to understand, and daughter to James Hong's character Gang Gang, who does his share of inflicting generational trauma to Evelyn, which she fears will pass down to her daughter. Now on the surface, everything everywhere all at once is a pretty simple story. All Evelyn wants to do is just follow her taxes for her laundromat business while maneuvering between the relationships with her husband, daughter, and father. And so initially, no one would fault you if you entered everything everywhere all at once, thinking that this was going to be nothing more than a family drama storyline. That is, if you didn't watch the trailer first. But if you did already watch the trailer, then you already know it's about to go down when Evelyn has to meet with an IRS agent, played brilliantly by none other than Jamie Lee Curtis for an audit that could literally financially ruin the Wang family. It's at this moment when Evelyn's somewhat mundane life gets interrupted and she finds out that she is one of many different versions of herself across multiple dimensions. And that a multi-dimensional threat is coming and Evelyn is the only one who can stop her. But not because she's the most special, quite the opposite. It's because she's the most unspecial Evelyn across the multiverse. Ouch. But it's here that everything everywhere all at once makes a stark pivot into its chaotic, but at the same time, well-constructed science fiction world. We learn with Evelyn how to gain special traits and abilities from other versions of Evelyn across the spectrum of realities to go to battle with what can only be considered the ultimate evil. As the trailer hints or shows, you get to see and have fun with a wild array of Michelle Yeoh's. I'm talking everything and anything between Michelle Yeoh being a martial artist Arts master to having hot dogs for fingers and learning how to use your feet for day-to-day -day tasks to fighting with things that typically only adults like to play with at night alone with each other just watch the movie you'll get it but even through all the chaos and craziness everything everywhere all at once is going to throw at you the movie never manages to lose the emotional undertone of the story and it's all on the shoulders of Michelle Yeoh's Evelyn which is coincidentally a stark contrast to the movies we've gotten as of late, such as Turning Red. Where in that movie, we see the child strained relationship with the mom. The viewpoint, the storytelling, the lesson learned, it's all from the child's perspective. Obviously, this is not a Disney or Pixar film, but Evelyn, the mom, is essentially going through the same type of growing pains while also quite literally going through an existential crisis. Everything Everywhere All At Once journeys you along with Evelyn as she explores her own thoughts and traumas and insecurities about life, love, and her relationships with her loved ones. But don't get it twisted and believe that this is going to be a heavy film even if there are some seriously dark themes hidden throughout the movie such as depression, regret, or childhood trauma. Everything Everywhere All At Once approaches each theme and dresses it up in humor, eliciting laughter from us while also helping us understand each character and their motives. And if we're not laughing our way into life lessons and character development for the Wang family, then the Daniels are absolutely visually stimulating us with the special effects and visuals within this movie. Normally, after watching a movie like Everything Everywhere All At Once, I would almost guarantee that there is not going to be another movie on on the slate for the rest of this year that could match the visual sensation this film provides. But Marvel does make movies now, and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness hasn't released yet, so I guess I'll go ahead and back up on that for a little bit. But I can't say at least up until this point, and quite possibly up until the next Doctor Strange movie, that you will not be able to find or experience another visually satisfying film like Everything Everywhere All At Once. The costumes, the hair, the makeup, all perfect, 
everything. I mean, this movie is just aesthetically appealing. And shoot, I haven't even talked about the choreography yet. Holy crap, this is an action movie, a true action film. The choreographed fight scenes have to be the best that I have seen so far this year. Hands down, bar none. And again, okay, I get it. It's only March. We're three months into this year. But I'm letting you guys know right now, I will be comparing every future movie from here on out for the rest of the year to everything everywhere all at once, especially when it comes to the choreography, the makeup, the story, everything. Why? Okay, I guess I've held on to it long enough. This movie is damn near perfect. And to take that another step further, this is by far my favorite movie of the year. Yes, even over the Batman. Damn, that didn't take long. The cast is freaking phenomenal. I think I've already primarily spoke about Michelle Yeoh. She's amazing. Stephanie Hsu though, probably the breakout character and standout for everything, everywhere, all at once. I don't necessarily want to say why she's the standout or breakout character. I think that leans a little too much into spoiler territory. So if you don't want to know, don't look her up people. But I will say I do essentially see her character as the heart of the movie with how she manages to display the pain, vulnerability, and resentment all within her character. A lot of the key dark themes parallel between Michelle Yeoh's Evelyn and Stephanie Hsu's Joy, and Stephanie just does an astonishing job not only keeping up with Michelle, but also holding on to her own. It was pure joy to see both Quan and Hong back doing movies, and both have somewhat smaller but incredible important roles within this film. But for me, ultimately, I was just excited to see one of my goonies back on the screen again, that was the ultimate highlight. And speaking of highlights, I really love how everything everywhere all at once is literally everything everywhere all at once. The title of the movie perfectly explains exactly what you're getting within this film. It's basically everything but the kitchen sink. Shoot, it might even include the kitchen sink if I'm being perfectly honest. This movie is absurd, it's off the charts, it's chaotic. But it's also sad, depressing, and awfully real at times. But then it's also incredibly hilarious and aesthetically pleasing and gets your adrenaline pumping. This movie is literally everything and it's everywhere and you're getting it all at once. Amazing movie, hands down, the best movie I've seen this year so far. All I'm saying is, you have to give this movie a watch. Not should watch it, you have to watch it. But hey, those are just my thoughts. I wanna know yours. Have you seen Everything Everywhere All At Once yet? What'd you think? Let me know down below. And don't forget to catch these videos to my left and I'll catch you guys next time where we get to talk about it. Peace.